Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a great day today. Today I want to share a really tiny Dollarama haul and not so big Dollar Tree haul. Things are slowly starting to lift. We are able to purchase a few more things. We're not able to go into like stores just to shop around, browse around, not yet, it's coming. So that's very exciting. We think that everything should be open, we hope by July, but every time we say we hope, they push it back further, so who knows? Anyway, let's get right into this little Dollarama and Dollar Tree haul. So um, I'm gonna start off with the Dollarama. Look at this really cute retro kind of brush. I remember having a slim little brush like this whenever I was younger. And um, I just, and I loved it, you know? So this is back combing hairbrush, so it was perfect. And I remember back in the day, and I used to have hair guys all the way down to my, I think my butt, and it was very, very thick, and I would tease my hair, and I had big, big hair. <laughs> so this was $1.25, and I thought, yes, please. I got the nice little pink one. Um, I, this is a repurchase. It's the Lysol Click Gel Toilet Bowl Cleaners. I love these. My whole family, we just do. They <laughs> To say that we love a toilet bowl cleaner, but this stuff, for me, it just comes off strong at first, but then it kind of dissipates really, really fast. I use these at my office and my home, and we enjoy the clean, fresh scent, you know, whenever you're going into the bathroom. Um, I pick these up for my boys, uh, Lincoln and um, Phoenix. They're older, so this is do them just fine, but it's just the Super Bug Bucket. So they, and with jumbo magnifiers, so they will collect, you know, little bugs and stuff, and then they will let them go, so they catch and release. They've always done that, or their mother has taught them that way. So I picked this up, and a lot of times they just put grass and stuff and just carry it around. So I got that for them, and you can kind of tell, like, the little top, see? It's a magnet. So I got a little orangey with the green lid, and then the blue one with the orange lid, and they just open up at the top for them to put their little bugs in. I just think it's so cute. And now they can't fight over it. <laughs> River's just too little for that just, just yet. I got this for myself because the other day I was trying to cut some wires off of some of... I was cleaning in my craft room organizing and I was just taking some of my flowers that I had to cut them down off of the, you know, the wire. And I did couldn't find my wire cutters. So I picked myself this up at the Dollarama for $3.50. Yes, please. So I got two of them. Two, two pliers in there, so I'll take that, put that in my little craft room toolbox. I got, oh, I'm getting into, oh yeah, I just wanna show you stuff from the Dollarama. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm getting things kinda mixed up. I got this for my cat box. It's a litter scoop. It's my pet store, and it was just a dollar. So instead of, you know, scooping it with the little handle, I can scoop it like this, and it'll come through here, and then just empty out the, you know, her leavings. <laughs> so I got that, and I thought that was really, really cute. For a dollar? Yes, please. I'll give that a whirl. Um, and I think this is the last thing that I did get from... Yeah, this is the last thing. So it's just... This is a repurchase. I bought this the other day, and then my husband has this adorable, well, we have a really nice little house, like kind of like a pool house near our pool. <laughs> uh, duh. And um, there's a little like window box there. And he had some ground in it. We had flowers at one time, but they weren't growing very well. So we took all that out. And inside, he took these plastic, because that's all they are. I had some like this, and then some with little white flowers on it. And we cut them and put them in the box. Well, does it ever look sharp? They're hanging down almost like wisteria. Is that what you call it? It looks so cute, and it looks like that's the way it should be. I'm not one for artificial flowers around my house, but that was really, it's really cute, really cute. So I just got myself another one because I'm doing a lot of, well, gonna be trying to do some crafts, uh, and I wanna incorporate some of that little bit of greenery in there, so I think that look really nice so yes and now on to the Dollar Tree haul not a big oh I got one more thing at the Dollarama my favorite uh, rice cracker the sesame seed uh, sesame no just sesame crackers they're so so good I love them very tiny Dollar Tree haul as well guys but look what I found the blue ones now so I have two pink two green too blue so i'm so happy that you know i'll either gift these send these out in friend mail or i'll find some place for them my kids my kids love them as well i am in love and over the top when it comes to gnomes i just love them so so much so i'm really really happy that i found the blue one now so i have another set you know i also got this sphere ice mold and i thought this would be a really good idea like this is how big the ice molds are going to be 
and it's in this little package. Now I think, I'm not really sure, I guess you must put them together to make the mold and you pour the water through there. That's what I think, put it in the freezer. So it just looks like this. See the, the big night, isn't that nice? I thought that was really, really nice. My kids would like that. They love to have iced tea and stuff and put that in there by the pool, perfect. Um, this is a repurchase for my grandsons because I found a new trick for them. I take the cone, I was filling them with little treats for them and then at the end they can you know carry their cone around at the end they can eat their cone so I got another one of these to do for the summer months so they just love them look at this now this is big sky mints sugar-free cotton candy so when I picked this up I was thinking of my dear friend and fellow youtuber and fellow Canadian uh, Kira is her name and her channel is mrs. cotton candy's darling life and she does everything cotton candy. So I hope she sees these and able to pick them up and I hope she really enjoys them. So I picked that up to give that a whirl for myself as well. And I think there's like 60 little mints in there. I don't know, it doesn't really say I don't think. So anyway, I picked that up. Look at these stickers. Now, when you go down the sticker section at the Dollar Tree here in, in my, in Ontario, Cornwall, Ontario, so one side is all sectioned off and it's all stickers you cannot buy from there but directly across in the teaching section, there's stickers. I don't get the, I don't understand it, but it is what it is. So I picked these up. We're in the teaching tree section, like that section of the stickers. So I thought these were adorable with the Eiffel Tower, the beautiful little camera, the Harley air balloon, the luggage. I just think it's so cute. I could only get two. That's all that they had. When I got to the cash, I said, am I able to get this? She said, yeah, it was in the teaching tree section and I thought, perfect. So when we're able to travel, which it can't come soon enough, we enjoy, my husband and I, we are the kind of people that just set off for the day and go and do whatever. Um, go for a long ride, sometimes we bring a picnic, and sometimes we find ourselves going across a border and then just taking our time going that way, stopping at little shops here and there, not necessarily buying anything, window shopping sometimes, just to get away. Sometimes we stay overnight. So. I picked this up for my husband for Father's Day. I'm gonna fill it with little things and hopefully in the coming months we'll be able to travel. So this is just a men's little travel bag. They had a different color, I think another color blue, but I got him this one. I thought it was really cute. Just big enough for him to put his little necessities whenever we're going, nothing major. Put a pair of socks in there, put a pair of underwear and some underarm deodorant and little bottles of shampoo and away we go. <laughs> Anyway, that's what I picked that up. And it's not its not the best made probably, but it's not the worst. I think it's pretty good. I also picked up these because I'm making this project not so much with the candle. I'm not really interested as much in the candle as I in, am in this little unit. So this is something I seen on uh, YouTube actually. Crafters are filling these little tops with sequins and stuff, putting a little pad on top of it, almost like a felt pad that you have underneath your chair gluing it really, really well, then putting that on. Then they're using this whenever they're putting a stamp and they're running this along so it glides with the felt on it to make sure the stamp is really coming out even. And I thought, I'm gonna try these little, these are so cute to do. And I thought that would be perfect. When I get one done, I'm gonna show you guys because I thought it was the cutest little thing. There's so many different things going on. I don't know, I think this is called a Chucky tool. Sorry, and then the next one is another thing that everybody's making, Rosemary U Rock Art, she made some and they're gorgeous, is the Pokey Tool. But I thought, I'm gonna try the Chucky Tool. I was very intrigued by that. I picked up two loaves of bread, I'm gonna freeze these. These are the Country Harvest. Uh, these are like $2.99, $3.49 in the store and sometimes two for $6. 16 grains, wonderful, wonderful bread. My husband just loves it. Pick this up for the boys. Phoenix likes to, you know, sometimes to do little puzzles or whatever, so he'll have this, and hopefully they'll share it. I'm not sure that they will. I should have maybe got an, an extra one or two. So I got that, the cat in the hat. Just thought it was just so cute. And then I found this, and I thought, hmm. So this says, uh, it says, oh, ivory, 100 sheets, and they're watermarked eight and a half by 11, laser and inkjet re resumes. So I thought, if I don't use I'm gonna open it. I wanna see what it looks like, actually. If I don't use the, the them, I'll use the paper for sure in uh, my photocopier to do different things because it's it's like a really, really nice paper. So it just looks like this. And there, you can see the little watermark in there. Can you see that? No, maybe you guys can't. I can see it, I don't know. See it right there? 
right there. Anyway, so it's uh, I was really really happy. A hundred sheets for a dollar twenty five. Yes, please. They they are not like they're ivory color, but hey, I don't I don't mind that at all. Or just to have for the kids to color with. So I picked up two of those for a dollar twenty five. Yes, please. So that is it for today, guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I will see you guys soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye.